time for Coffee with Corey, brewed in part by Kroger. I've never seen one contest with more controversy. I know. <laughs> Ever. Seriously, <laughs> right? So good morning, everybody. The first story, we're talking about the Nathan's Famous 4th of July Hot Dog Eating Contest. Well, of course, it is long over, but there are some allegations of cheating in the aftermath. What? Right? So Major League Eating star Nick Wary is accused of stealing his opponent's plates to inflate his score and secure a spot among the elite competitive eaters. Okay, so Wary is the one with the colorful mohawk, and he finished fourth in the men's competition by eating under 47 hot dogs. But... That score has since been adjusted and five more were added. Well, Wary has denied any wrongdoing, stating that he would never cheat. Major League Eating, which sanctions Nathan's famous hot dog eating contest, and overseas official judging stated that it has investigated the accusations. MLE says it's not their policy to overturn the judge's decision. Meanwhile, Wary is set to compete in a blueberry eating contest this Saturday. So maybe that's his full-time job. I, I don't know. Maybe like an, oh, he looked sick. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have talked about yeah. like doing that to your body. Like I don't know. Do you like really truly digest all of that? Do you like? Throw I it think up? they totally hurl. Like they yeah, go and they, the, there must be like they a whole have to area. Be, yeah. Ooh. Uh, ooh. And and I was telling Corey that I think that um, there should be like a dark comedy movie starring Will Ferrell as a hot dog eating champ. And they tell the dark underbelly. We need underbelly some script writers out there because I would watch that. Content. I would pay to watch that. But. Well, we need you. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so moving on. Uh, since early years of our nation, the bald eagle has represented freedom and patriotism for many Americans. And if you ask most folks, they'll tell you that our official, that's our official national bird. But it turns out that's actually not the case. So the bald eagle was designated as the national symbol in 1782 and you've seen them on flags and flag staffs and on jets and in the military and even on our currency like Wikipedia a number of government websites also will tell you that the bald eagle is our national bird except it's not officially right so if members of the Congress from Minnesota have their way that will change they have introduced legislation to make it official the National Eagle Center a nonprofit educational organization in Minnesota spearheaded the initiative that already has seen by partisan support. No word yet on when or if the House of Representatives could take up the bill to designate the bald eagle as our national bird. I mean, is it just assumed? It must be just assumed. Like we all think that's our national bird officially. Can we're we just like the upside down? Like we're, we're just gonna, the we're just gonna stamp it ourselves. Nothing is real. Okay, so I think maybe we're conflating the fact that there are laws against hurting mm. one of these birds and maybe we just assume, assume that that encompassed the whole um, yeah. that it was our national bird. I am so confused right now and that is so fascinating but, and I, I hope they make good on that. You know, like, I do too. I mean, come on. Oh my goodness. Should have been done a while ago. Yeah. And finally, if you're thinking about early retirement, one popular fast food restaurant wants to help. Taco Bell is giving its reward members a chance to sit back, relax, and take advantage of this innovative community. The cantinas will offer visitors a laid back lifestyle of retirees, regardless of age in San Diego, California. So Taco Bell says you should not have to wait until you're in your 50s or 60s to live the life you are craving. The cantinas will open in mid-August and offer a variety of activities, including golf, aerobics, pickleball, and of course, all of your favorite Taco Bell uh, favorites, right? So cantinas experience is meant for super fans over the age of 21, and you have to be a Taco Bell rewards member to purchase a membership. So it, I was kind of looking on their website to kind of see exactly what they were offering, right? Mm. And so it's like super early tea times. You have um, afternoon naps, and then you have like eating dinner early, and then going to bed by eight o'clock. That can is I go like, take a part of that? That <laughs> is because so fun. Yeah. I love going to bed around eight or nine. Well, I mean, that's uh, well, because you we wake, wake up, up so early, the, right? We yeah, wake up so early before the crack of dawn. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, that kind of reminds me. Was it was it like Walmart is opening up Waffle Houses inside? The, there's there's like a really? big yeah. There's some kind of big thing. I'm not sure. Is this over? Don't Arkansas? quote me. Yeah, we're gonna have to talk about Ooh, this maybe on a future okay. Corey. Because oh, I'm intrigued. Yeah, dig in. Yeah, there's some food that's showing up in some retailer. Anyway, but um, I'm I. 
That's cool. Yeah. Let's dig in because yeah. I love when you research. Like you it's go in real I'm deep. All, I'm always all I in. Kind of like I love researching all the backstories of stuff. So. Yes. All right, Corey. Can't wait for tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you then. And don't change the channel. We have a dish from Chef Stephen Lake that you may have you rethinking your next meal. He is in the kitchen with another delicious recipe next on Live at Nine. Yummy.